night. It is 5.48, so time to head out. And it's Tuesday, so it's a weightlifting day, and I believe today is upper body, so let's go. to change my sweater because I spilled some of that oil on it unfortunately and I had just washed it so yeah I wanted to show you guys my new additions to my bathroom I finally got a water pick I've been thinking about getting one for so long I've had it for a few days now and I love it I use it at night and then I got this new electric toothbrush because my other one just stopped working because I had it for so long but yeah now it's a cool like little set and I love it. for this year is to be healthier, eat healthier. I do eat pretty healthy and I work out almost every single day. And I was thinking about my old routine like two years ago when I was in the best shape of my life. And I really, really miss those days. I noticed that a big difference was my breakfast and whole morning basically. Because typically after I do all of that, I go straight into emails. So what I'm changing this year is that I'm going to make sure I have breakfast before I sit down on my desk. Because I will go hours sitting on my desk, responding to emails, and then I'm like starving, feeling super weak, and that's not okay. So we're changing that up. We are gonna be eating breakfast before we do any work. And I think that's also a good thing because obviously with my type of job, which is content creating and small business owner who works from home and does everything herself, like it all just goes together. Like I'm basically working throughout the day. So I kind of wanted to separate that because I love my mornings and I think this is going to be a nicer way to treat myself and my body. And also I'll be more productive throughout the day and the morning. So, so yeah, we're going to make some breakfast 
And of course, I'm gonna keep drinking my Hydro. I try to drink three of these a day. And also while I make breakfast, I like to watch YouTube videos. And recently I've been watching so many of Mariana Divorce, Divorska? I can't say her last name. But I love watching her videos because she's super healthy, talks about wellness and all that. So it's really nice to watch these type of videos in the morning. breakfast right here we have basically it's a new paneer sabzi it's Persian bread two eggs and then there's some Danish feta cheese greens I use mint and then green onion I love I basically had this exact breakfast yesterday minus the sausage and then I have some coffee and I think I've mentioned the my fitness pal app before. It's basically so I can make sure that I reach my goal of calories because typically I will get busy and forget to eat sometimes. So I honestly really love to use that just to keep track because obviously if I'm working out burning calories, I need to make sure that I'm like eating well and I figured out how many calories I need to eat a day according to my weight, my goal, my body mass index, all that stuff. So yeah, so I just like to use that so I can keep track of everything and most importantly to make sure that I eat because like I said, sometimes I will go hours and hours just working and forget to eat. So I just devoured that. I don't even know if I recorded but that was so good. Okay, so now we're gonna be having some supplements. I definitely need to get some more, but this is just what I have right now. I take Pure Hawaiian Spirulina capsules, and then I also take just a normal wellness formula, which reminds me I need to get some more, because I'm like at the last few. I need to go to Sprouts and try to get some other stuff. Okay, we are now in the office. It is 9 a.m., which is perfect. I think that was like the goal is to have my whole morning to myself and officially start emails at nine. I am going to however post on Instagram, maybe post on TikTok. I think I have something saved. I don't know, but I'm going to go ahead and post and then we'll do some emails. Hey guys, so some time passed. I worked on emails for about two hours. I also got ready for the day, not just to finish the last half of this video, but also because I'm gonna be meeting up with my friend to work at a coffee shop, so that's fun. I'm excited for that because I don't do much of that, which kind of goes with the new goals that I've set for myself for the new year, and that's what I wanna talk to you guys about. I wanna share those new goals that I have set for myself. I think that this is the first time I've ever like actually listed out goals for myself for the year. I'm usually the type of person that always just keeps like a mental note. So I wanted to do things a little differently this year. I do feel like actually typing them down and legit making like an actual document with these goals really helped make it feel more real and I'm right off the bat trying to get started and just um, change part of my lifestyle. And these goals range from big to small. So I'm just gonna go through them. I do have them listed out for like personal, personal brand and for my business. So let's get started. Hopefully as I go through this list of goals, maybe you guys have some similar goals and we can work on them together. So personal. So the first one would have to be hike more. I love hiking and it's crazy to think that all of 2021, maybe I hiked a total of like five different hikes or something or probably less. I have no idea, but all I know is that I did not do much hiking and that is not okay. I love to hike. So that is definitely something that I am for sure gonna be able to accomplish. I literally started the first day of 2022 with a hike. So already off to a good start. Okay, next, less alcohol. I'm not saying I drink a lot of alcohol or anything. It's pretty like balanced and stuff. But for me, I'm just very focused with my workout routine and my eating habits and stuff like that. Yeah, just trying to cut down on that a bit. Cause then that is, that is when I will see the best results. 
Okay, another personal goal, just eat clean and lean. Again, I eat pretty well. This is just gonna stay on my list so I can refer to it like throughout the year and remember, okay, keep eating clean, lean, healthy, all that stuff. Um, breakfast before emails. Just like I mentioned earlier, I would seriously spend hours on my laptop before even having breakfast. I feel like for me, I think a lot of like, let me get a head start. Let me get ahead because I feel like I've been behind. It's always felt like that. So I kind of want to slow down and remind myself to be healthy, get in that food, because especially if I want to look good and feel good, like I need to nourish my body. So I want to take that extra time in the morning to make sure that I have healthy breakfast. And then therefore my work will show an improvement because I'm taking care of myself another one just like I'm doing today work at coffee shops I live in San Diego where we have beautiful coffee shops literally in every corner and I'm always stuck in my apartment working yes a lot of the time I need to be like filming or every once in a while I'm literally like oh I should do this right now I should do this right now like but every once in a while I should go out to like a coffee shop get some fresh air, just have like a different environment. And I think that's gonna be super, super healthy. I'm really excited to do that today and, and hopefully continue. Um, maybe do it every every like other week or something. I don't know. So we'll see how that goes. Next one, remember to put my phone down. Every once in a while, I will catch myself just looking at my phone just to look at it. I, I don't even have my phone on vibrate, on loud or anything, it's always on silent. And I think part of it being silent makes me want to look at it in case I got something. But I just have to remember, like put my phone down every once in a while and stop multitasking on my phone. I seriously am always like either watching something or listening to something while I'm doing other work. And yeah, that's totally fine. I do find it productive, but if I'm going to do that, I think I need to remind myself that it has to be like educational because if not, then I'm just like listening to nonsense just to like be connected to my phone still, if that makes sense. I don't even know if that makes sense. I just catch myself a lot, like getting distracted with my phone. I'm going to try to just remember to put my phone down for a bit, especially when I'm working on something, give it all my attention, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next one. Listen to five audibles. This one's gonna be a little difficult. So, I'm not much of a reader. I don't know if you guys have been able to tell. Um, I did start the year of 2021 with reading. I read like two self-help books. They were really easy. It was once I moved here actually, so it was maybe like the end of 2020, start of 2021. Ever since then, I haven't read again. I am just not a huge reader goes back to the whole having to multitask or having to be like doing something all the time. I physically cannot just sit and read a book to save my life. I will feel like, what am I doing? I'm literally wasting time sitting here when I could be doing other things. That's literally how my mind thinks. I just, I can't, I can't get out of that mentality. Unfortunately, it'd be very, very difficult. Even if I am reading something educational, I don't know why, unless I'm physically doing something, I feel guilty for like just sitting there, like reading a book and it's, Honestly, millennial Latina problems maybe, but I know I'm not the only one that feels this way. So instead of sitting and reading a book, I'm trying to still get the benefits of a book by listening to an audible. And that can hopefully take over the part of me that's always like trying to be on my phone and like listen to something or watch something. Instead, I can just put on an audible and listen to a book that I've been wanting to listen to or something. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay, last two for personal. I promise I'm almost done. Travel once a month. I know that's hard and it's a stretch. It's probably gonna be hard. So when I mean travel, I don't mean necessarily like flying somewhere or anything like that. Like that would be fun. But I don't mind like a little day trip somewhere or like a road trip. I love road trips and like something about just driving for hours like even if i there's nowhere for me to just like stay and it's just like a quick road trip to go somewhere for a few hours like i don't know why i just love driving and enjoying the scenery so i definitely want to at least once a month try to go somewhere and just have my own little trip or hopefully a friend could join me or something okay last personal goal the biggest goal and it's gonna be hard but I'm just having it on here to put it out into the universe 
and it is to purchase my first piece of property either for me to live in or an investment property that I can fix up a bit and rent out so that has been a goal for forever honestly but I feel like as I'm growing my business and my personal brand if this year allows it then maybe it could happen I know it happens to a lot of people and why wouldn't it happen to me why wouldn't it happen to you guys you know so we're all working hard here and it's possible so hopefully the market allows me to I know it's been pretty tough so yeah that's just a goal that I wanted to put out there because you never know now moving on to personal brand as in like my influencer stuff so the first goals are basically doubling my audience on all platforms i don't know how crazy that might sound but again so many people are doing it they're getting their big breaks and why not me why not me so crazy goal is to hit 100k it's possible people do it so I want to do it too so 100k on instagram 100k on tiktok because my instagram and tiktok are basically the same right now i'm barely gonna hit 10k on youtube but i'm hoping i can hit 25k i don't know um but yeah who knows all i know is that hopefully if instagram and tiktok do well maybe youtube will follow okay and then last big goal for my personal brand is land three big deals <laughs> So I've loved all of the opportunities that I've had and I've been so lucky enough to even be reached out to for this big deal that I have coming up later this year, which I'm really excited about and really excited to share more, more about it with you guys. That seriously like opened my eyes and made me think like, I could do this, I could keep doing this. If this brand sees me as somebody that they can trust and want to work with and basically invest in, then definitely other brands want to too. So. I want to land three other big deals, big, big deals. Okay, last set of goals. These are goals for Classic Casita, my brand, like my online shop. So goal number one, launch two new products. Not that crazy. When I think about it, I launched two products in 2021. My second product was very late in the year. I literally had just announced it to you guys, I think like a month ago or something. But if I was able to launch two products in 2021, then definitely I can launch two more products in 2022. So that goal I think can be very possible. Next would be warehouse space. If I have more products and the company keeps doing well, then I'm gonna need more space. Eventually I should have a warehouse and not just a storage unit. So I think that this year can be the year that I move forward. It only makes sense as my personal brand grows, Classic Casita will also grow. And then that goes into employees. I would want to at least have two employees. I think that's fine. I'm So far I've been doing everything by myself. I wouldn't change it any other way, honestly. But if I have a warehouse and I have many more products or something, I'm gonna need the help. I'm gonna need the help. Okay, and last goal for Classic Casita would be triple my sales in all of my SKUs. So that means however I'm doing on the moisture meter, I want to triple that by the end of the year. And then obviously for all the other products, which obviously is gonna be very difficult. But again, I'm just thinking about how big my personal brand goals are. And if I get to achieve those, then, then I strongly believe that it'll trickle into my success with Classic Casita. Yeah, some of these goals might seem crazy, but I've had some crazy opportunities this last year and I just wanna stay super optimistic. I highly encourage you guys to stay optimistic as well and just bring out these goals out into the universe. So yeah, if you guys feel comfortable enough to share some of your goals down below in the comments, please share. I would love to hear them. And I think that's going to be it, guys. I have to head out soon for my little coffee date. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. And if you haven't yet, then don't forget to subscribe. I also hope that your new year is off to a great start. And I'm very excited for us and what this year has in store for all of us. I really appreciate all of you and just wishing you all the best. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you next time.